Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a go funny lungu vlog with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Feel free to suggest anything that you guys want us to react to on this channel. We're not limited to anything, so go out with your suggestions. Uh, so today I'm going to be reacting to human blood in certain themed Nike shoes or Nike shoes. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jenna. <sighs> How do I start videos like this? Honestly, it feels like year by year the most absurd of things are coming out. Despite living in the messed up situations that we're in, because I don't want to blame time by itself, I honestly didn't think that we would stoop this low. So I started checking the official sources one after another, after another, after another. And they all confirmed the same thing. That indeed, this guy called Little Lil Nas X is releasing satanic shoes under the brand of Nike. A lot of you guys watching have learnt the Quran, yeah, and you've used a qaida. It's your jihad. Not al qaida. No, you are a jihad. Calm yourself, yeah. Not not those guys. A Muslim band will keep the peace. It's not very appealing. The colors are dead. There's not that much explanation. You're heavily reliant upon a teacher. Now this book has been designed to be colorful. Yeah, you can see it's separated into grades. It's got explanations in English that are for the layman. I've helped do the design and because I also teach Quran as well, I was able to simplify some of the language. It's got tips and tricks. It's got lesson objectives, tells you what to do step by step. Obviously, you still need a teacher, but most of it you can uh, do independently as well. It's got Tajweed towards the end. <laughs> the amount of time that we took just to design the front cover. So definitely link is in the description. Check it out and buy your copy now. All right guys, so let's jump straight into this. US artist Lil, Lil Nas X released a video in which he was celebrating his homosexuality by giving Satan or Shaitan a lap dance. You have been ideologically molested, yes. You know, as you do on a Tuesday afternoon before putting the kids to sleep. I mean, what on earth is this guy going to say to his kids when he grows up? Hey dad. Oh wait, I forgot. Let me explain to you how the human body works. And to keep with the theme of Satanism, they're only releasing 666 trainers. Yeah, as you know, that's the number that's used to signify Satan, Antichrist or anything evil. They will cost £1,018, which is in reference to the Bible verse of Satan's banishment. On the shoe, you've got a you know, the reference of the Bible on the shoe box. I think you've got the actual verse. There's a pentagram on the shoe and inside the shoe as well. And the pentagram is the symbol for the occult, yeah, dark magic. They were sitting around the table in the dark with their hoods on and flipping fire everywhere. And they were like, well, well, what could we do? What's missing? Yeah, what can we slap in their faces in case some of them are thinking it's a conspiracy or in case some of them are looking for these symbols, we got to slap it in their face and see what they say. Yeah, so they promoted it as putting a human, a, a, a drop of human blood in the sole of the shoe. What the hell is this? Billah. Back in the days, we had people like Farhan K501. We had the arrivals. Yeah, you had Boshuak. You had all of these guys. They would look at movies and music and they would f slow it down, be like, ah, there's, there's what they're trying to show and that links with this and that and boom. Yeah. Now, there's no need for people like that because it's just in your face. I mean, I think it was a couple of years ago, I went down to the flipping Freemason Museum that they've got here in London and they have tours there. You can go there with your family and go and look at the lodge and everything. It's just, they, they just don't care anymore. Now I know you guys watching, you're like, what? Oh my God, what is going on? But let's, let's, let's have a listen to this uh, presenter, yeah? And this is why I am a huge Lil Nas X fan. I love his honesty and I love what he's doing for the queer community. 
So, what do you think of his brand new video? Pause this guy for a second. Be quiet for a second. Okay, shut him up. Shut him up. You're sick. You're sick. Ali. Yeah, let's ignore the fact that he's giving a lap dance to Satan. He is promoting human sacrifice. He is promoting occult magic. Forget all of that, mate. He's come out with his sexuality. That overrides everything else, mate. That's what that does. You could stab someone in the knee, and as long as he's comfortable with his sexuality, mate, everything's fine. Lol. And you know one thing I've noticed about these celebrities? Because back in the day, the poster child for the occult and symbolism or whatever you want to call it was Lady Gaga. And then 10 years later, she's depressed, she's suicidal. And you had another Bollywood woman, Nargis Fakhri, had a video on her. She did a song with Salman Khan titled My Boyfriend the Devil. And she's talking about being upset and being sad and depressed. And when are these people going to get into their heads? Peace of mind is more important than fame and money. Yeah, if these people, they're too far gone, I want you guys watching to realize this. It's better to be poor and unknown than to be rich and known and be messed up in the head. I'm telling you. You know, mental health is very important. Some of you are like, yeah, I'm depressed, mate. I need to get married. I need to have somebody. No, 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 no. You're gonna then project that insecurity onto somebody else. You need to first fix your insecurity before you get married. Otherwise that mindset continues in marriage. So yeah, these people are humanizing and normalizing shaitan, the occult, human sacrifice. I mean, there's this famous TV series called Lucifer in which they use a very handsome looking guy and they tell him to buff up for the movie. I mean, if you were to check YouTube, you can see Lucifer's workout techniques. Yeah, because you know, you, to to mislead people, you got to make sure you got the biceps for it, you know. To uh, corrupt people, you need to make sure, you know, the triceps are balanced with the biceps and you've got the big, big arm, yeah. That shock factor is being taken down because the market is being saturated with just haram and filth and garbage. I guess one of the things that I can say is when you are at rock bottom, there's only one direction and that's up. Yeah, you go up. You can look up and progress. That's the only thing. You can't regress further. So I guess that's what we can do. Yeah, realize our purpose. Realize and fix our diet of what's going into our stomach, food, what's going into our into our ears, music, what's going into our eyes, movies. Be very cautious with your diet. Yeah, fix yourselves and then be in a position to fix others, please. People are crying out for Islam. Look, look at what's happening without Islam. You know, one non-Muslim said something that accepted Islam. He said, you are licking what we have spat out. <laughs> you are licking what we have spat out. Yeah, we've given up this lifestyle, come to Islam and you lot are longing for that. How profound, how profound. So guys, what perfect time to release this video. We got Ramadan coming up. Make the intention to detoxify yourself in Ramadan, but don't wait till Ramadan starts. Make this intention now and start working towards it. Maybe cut down a meal or something, get your stomach used to it. Start planning. Yeah, start calling up your friends that are practicing. Start subscribing to certain channels or whatnot. Get your zakat ready. Yeah, 2.5% of your savings. Get that ready. If you're not speaking to your parents or your family, you know, make up with them. Especially in this day and age, it's important to be close to your family. Yeah, keep your loved ones close. Be very cautious with what your kids are watching. <sighs> Don't let them have devices in their own room. Yeah, put these parental locks on. Be engaged with what your children are doing. I know they're boring. I know they chat nonsense, but they're your kids. Yeah, give them that time before they get used to being separate from you and they start going towards all this sort of madness and then you're running around trying to mitigate the damage. Let's leave it there guys. Flaming Nora. Never thought I'd have to make a video like this. And yeah guys, Ajmal Al Qawaid. You have to have this book. I mean come on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Everyone's learning the Quran. Everyone's got a kid in their homes. Let's leave it there guys until next time. <laughs> Subscribe to my gaming channel. Assalamu alaikum.
I'm sure the entire world is still reacting to this video that was released. I actually came across the video on Twitter. What was I doing? I'd woken up in the morning, going through Twitter, and then it was right, it was just right there in my face. I actually watched it twice without the sound, wondering what was going on. Third time, saw what was going on, and I mean, it's really, really something. The shoe, the shoes did get released. I think and they actually sold out in I don't know I think less than a day I'm not really sure but now he's actually getting a lawsuit from Nike because I don't think they approved or something it's a crazy word I mean now nothing is being hidden everything is just being put out there people don't care he's talking about the Freemason um, I think church he visited they don't care they know people know about what's going on so they just put it in your face so it's up to you to um ignore that or be entertained by that but otherwise the video was something else it was really really something else that's taking things too far because his sexuality actually overshadows what he's trying to preach in this video and I think this video was more about his sexuality than the devil's thing that was going on. And if you see his tweets, he really doesn't care that uh, young people see it. He was actually responding to a few fans and it's wild. It's just crazy. We really have to check on our diets and what we intake, what we eat, what we hear, what we see, what we involve ourselves in. Because that really shapes who we are and what we may become otherwise i don't know it's not my type of music i don't know about you but people have different tastes but if we want to live in a world where there is um what can i say let's just protect ourselves from things that are harmful why is this coming out now what are they trying what agenda are they pushing out there you really have to think for yourself is this good is this bad should i listen to this should i not should i eat that should i not it's really up to you let me know what you guys actually think otherwise many people are not pleased with this and i really don't know let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video